One of the nation's most prestigious high schools is under investigation by Virginia's attorney general, all because several school districts may have discriminated against high performing students in the name of equity. At least 13 schools failed to notify students that they won national merit honors and they failed to notify them in time for college application deadlines. CBN's Brody Carter reports. Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology is ranked as America's number one high school according to U.S. News & World Report. Now the Attorney General is investigating the Fairfax County School for unlawful discrimination. We know that the admissions went from Thomas Jefferson being about 72-73% Asian American down to uh, 50 percent, 50 some percent. So it was, it was close to a 20 point drop. Instead of academic performance, Attorney General Jason Mayeres is looking into whether an equity based admissions policy by Fairfax County Schools means Thomas Jefferson is guilty of violating the state's anti-discrimination statute. He notes that the Fairfax Public Schools superintendent paid an equity consultant $455,000 for nine months work. We know that this equity consultant made a series of recommendations to the school district. One of their recommendations is equal outcomes for every student with no exception. Well, you hear the word equity all the time, and, and the point I like to make is that equity without excellence is emptiness. Meanwhile, a second investigation at the same school raised other questions regarding treatment of students. We started to look into the admission standard at Thomas Jefferson High School. You have to apply to attend. And then the national merit issue popped up. That issue being at least 13 Virginia schools failing to notify students of their national merit scholarship status in time for college application season. The award honors the top 3% of students nationwide with scholarship opportunities. Mayeris now expanding the investigation to determine if the schools withheld the information from students because of their ethnic background. It is two branches of the same tree. We're looking at the admission standards at Thomas Jefferson High School, which is a, a governor's school you have to apply to attend. And then we're also looking at what was the reasoning why you had the systemic problem of failure to recognize all of these National Merit Award winners, over 70% of which were Asian American. Uh, were you deciding not to do that because of their racial or ethnic background. My initial thought was, did you find out about this like months ago and just didn't tell your mom, <laughs> you know, because he's a 16 year old kid. Shana Yashar says her son is one of those students notified more than a month after the awards went to Thomas Jefferson. The school's director of student services tried to explain why. He told me that they were holding on to them so that they could hand them out at a discreet time so as to not hurt the feelings of the kids that did not receive the award. This delay could cause Shauna's son and more than a thousand students at those schools to miss deadlines for adding the recognition to their early college and scholarship applications. We know that by a rough count, over a thousand students have been affected. Uh, we're trying to determine how many years this has been going on. The attorney general plans to update the public with additional information as the investigation presses forward. Brody Carter, CBN News.